What is going on guys? My name is Brian and welcome back to the Game Shower where we like to shower you with Square Enix news, leaks and rumors and in today's video we're going to continue talking about Tetsuya Nomura's interview with Famitsu Magazine and the new info that was updated on the material system for Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I have another video which I will link in the card that will appear in the top right corner for those who are interested in the rest of the interview. If you're new here follow me on social media and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Click on the bell to get notifications when I upload and let's get on with the video. Square Enix had an amazing presentation despite IGN ranking them the worst of show. They showed us a new trailer, gameplay and came with a few surprises as well. One being that we can finally confirm that material will be included in the Final Fantasy VII Remake and that it will be visible in the character's weapon such as what was shown to us in Cloud's Buster Sword and if you didn't notice it, it was also in Barrett's gun arm. Before we get to the new info, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is material? Well material are magically infused crystallized Mako energy orbs, oof, try saying that three times quick that is equipped to a character's weapon or armor and consists of five different categories. These categories consist of magic, support, command, independent, and summons. Equipping material can raise your character's stats, give them new abilities, and so much more depending on how you choose to combine the material. Depending on the weapon or armor you have will determine how much material you can equip at a time as shown to us in the original and I believe that for the remake this will remain the same as the more you progress through the game the more material you are able to equip on your party members. In Tetsuya Nomura's interview with Famitsu Magazine, new info was given to us about the material system for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Nomura mentions that the general concept of the material system will remain the same where you use them to modify the character's ability and performance. He further adds that because of the new battle system which makes it an action RPG instead of a turn based RPG like the original, that some material had to be removed from the game for the remake. Don't take this as a loss for the remake because he did also mention that to make up for the material removed, the Square Enix team is adding new material as well to compensate for the new battle mechanics. Certain things I can expect since it is an action RPG is material such as scan will help show enemies HP and further material will help with the speed and movement and possibly other material will help with the distance or range your attack can reach. Nomura didn't go into much details as to what to expect from the new material or even the ones that are being removed for that matter. So as of right now, everything is just left to speculation. I can't wait to experience all the material and see which old material made the cut, but what do you guys think? What material do you believe has been removed and why? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll shout you out in a future video. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to become a gaming cloud today so that together we can shower everyone with Square Enix news, leaks and rumors. This has been the Game Shower, where we just shower you with Final Fantasy VII Remake news. Keep being awesome guys.